So today we are taking a look at this Lotorazia HDMI KVM 4K two port switch. Now, what does a KVM switch do? Well, they're actually pretty ingenious. They take two computers and they allow you to connect those two computers to one monitor, maybe like a TV, a monitor, maybe a projector. It helps you save time and money without having too many wires and too many displays. You can condense everything into one part. Now, I've been using a lot of KVM switches. What makes this one very intriguing, and I think probably the one that you should be looking at is first of all this, 4K at 60 Hertz. A lot of switches out there do 4K, but they cap at 30 Hertz, which is okay for Word documents and Excel sheets. But if you want to game or do some content creation, you're kind of capped right there. But with a 60 Hertz, it now opens up a new world to higher frame content and gaming at the same time. Now, suppose you don't have a 4K monitor, that's okay. It also does 2K at 144 Hertz. So you're definitely getting your high resolution, but also at enough speed as well if you want a game. Maybe you don't have a 2K monitor, 1080p at 144 hertz. So there you go, it supports high resolution and high frame rate at the same time. Now, another feature about this that I feel is really good is that it has the cords included. So many times you get another KVM switch, it's up to you to come up with the additional HDMI cables for both of your computers and probably the USB cords as well. Here, the HDMI cords are already set, meaning that you don't have to worry about, am I getting the right HDMI cord? Because it's already attached to your device. The only cord you need to get is going from the KVM switch to the monitor that you're going to use. Uh, so we'll talk more about that at the same time. Now, another great feature about this is not only does it support 4K at 60, but it supports video at 444. Meaning if you're a content creator, video editor, color greatest, you're maybe even you're connecting your Xbox or your PlayStation, it's gonna support that 444 chroma sampling, meaning you're gonna get all the colors available to you through this switch. Nothing's being capped off, nothing's being reduced. Everything is wide open with this KVM switch. And of course, you have other ports here so you can share with the devices like a keyboard, a mouse, or maybe you have a mouse and keyboard combo. You can put that dongle right there and connect it and share it between your two devices. Or let's just say if you have a controller that has a USB dongle, you can connect it to one of the USB ports and switch between your devices. All right, so how does this look like practically? Well, I took this KVM switch to my kid's room where there's two computers. Uh, one computer is a 1080p monitor and the other one is a 2K monitor. Now, they both can support 4K video. So what I did was unplug the monitors, plug in the HDMI cord to one computer, the USB cord as well. Then went to the other computer, plugged in the HDMI cord and USB cord to that as well. Then I found a, I got like a 15 foot long HDMI cord connected from here all the way to their 4K TV and connected that. And immediately the two computers recognized a 4K at 120 Hertz monitor or TV and set it to that. So I went ahead and I checked out the display settings. Sure enough, 4K at 60 Hertz, done. Checked out the other computer, sure enough, 4K at 60 Hertz. And of course, when connecting this switcher right here to the connecting button, just by pressing this, I can jump between either computer using the same display and it'll just, just change on display just like that. Now, again, since I have my keyboard and mouse connected to it through a dongle, I'm also transferring over the use of my accessories to that as well. So it just works just fine there. Now, if I wanted to do a little gaming, not only am I enjoying the 4K at 60 Hertz, I can now connect my controller and jump between the two as well, making it super simple, really easy to use. All the cords are connected and you're getting 4K 60, 444, 2K 144, 1080p 144, um, very simple. As of yet, this is the most practical, best up-to-date KVM switch I've tried so far. Oh, and you can use this on Mac, Linux, again, you know, obviously Windows. Um, I would suspect that maybe if you even had um, a keyboard and maybe you wanted to connect this to maybe like, you know, your Xbox or PlayStation 5, you, meaning that you wanted to share a keyboard and mouse between the two, I imagine you could probably do the same thing with this, especially since it has the 444 at 60 Hertz chroma sampling. You're, yeah, you're not losing anything. All right. Hope this video helped you out. Take care. Bye. 
As always, I'll leave links in the description down below so you can pick up your own. Hey guys, do me a favor, hit that like button if you like what's going on here, hit that subscribe button if you love what's going on here, and ding that notification so you can be notified for future videos as well. All right, I'll see you next one. Take care. Bye.